founded in 2008 with the vision of increasing access to books in Africa. Paperite is now the largest network of print-on-demand bookstores in the world. Well, the Paperite model essentially turns any business's copy printer into a book printing machine. Uh, there are photocopy shops in every town, probably on every, every street of every major city in, in Africa. Uh, there are photocopy shops in small rural villages because the copy printer is such a critically important, valuable thing for a local economy. So we just need to turn those copy printers into book printers. And the way we do that is we deliver libraries of, of content online to these stores. So if a business can get a basic internet connection and has a copy printer, they can be a bookstore using Paperite. Atwell believes that a society that reads a lot will be happier, healthier and better educated. By increasing access to books, Atwell hopes to address the low levels of literacy prevalent throughout many African countries. The key issue is that in a vast continent, a very diverse continent, you really need to be selecting and producing physically, printing the books as close to the customer as you can. Because if you try to produce the books en masse before you've tried to get them to the customers, then you're probably going to produce the wrong books and it's going to be difficult and expensive to transport those books to the customer. So if you're getting books out to schools in small towns in big provinces, for instance, that's a really complex logistical situation. What we do with paper art is, is we say, let's not have the production happening en masse in some big center. We just need to produce the content and send it online to a myriad of small independent uh, businesses who can then print books for local schools. So a school could, instead of ordering, their, waiting for their books to arrive by, from uh, Pretoria on a big truck, they can just go to their local copy shop and print out exactly the number of books they need, uh, the publisher gets paid, and the students have their books on the first day of term. That for us is a really, really exciting possibility. And the same applies to healthcare education, uh, to entrepreneurship education, through all the many bodies that are building entrepreneurship, um, and for leisure reading. You know, it's important that people you know, have a chance to read a romance novel uh, once in a while. As publications increasingly go digital with the rise of ebooks, some may find it surprising that Atwell's business focuses purely on print. I get asked that a lot because why would, a, with a, my background in ebooks and technology, would I be building a business around paper and printing? It doesn't seem sensible. And there are a couple of reasons for that. The first thing is that I think that print and the screen are complementary. They work really well together. There's some things that just work really well on paper. Uh, the ability to scribble notes, to pass something to your friend, to look at a big complex diagram on one sheet of paper on your desk while you work on your computer or you work in a notebook. Fantastic on paper. Other things work really well on mobile phones, for instance. Quizzes, uh, little self-tests, um, instant feedback with authors. That's fantastic. So we work very hard to make sure that mobile and print work hand in hand. That's the one thing. The second thing is simply that I do believe that ebooks will take a long time to really be accessible to everyone on our continent. It's very easy to say we can solve e or textbook distribution by sending books to mobile phones. That's true if the person has data, if they live in an area with good 3G access, um, if they have a phone that can handle that. And I just think that we're constantly forgetting that there are millions and millions of people who just need a printout today. Like we can solve a problem today that ebooks will solve in five or ten years' time. Currently, Paperite has 200 registered outlets and is growing rapidly with plans of expansion into Africa and other emerging markets.